All right, here we go. Question number 20 of our college algebra, homework number one. In my lab math, the instructions say divide. And here we have another, tr looks like a trinomial divided by a binomial. And so just like in number 19, we're going to get to use long division. This one's a little bit different. I want to point something out over here. I've written the problem down. The, B, uh, the 4B plus 16, that is the divisor. And notice the dividend has four terms. And the reason is because if you look at the uh, function here, it starts with B to the third and then B to the second, and then it skips B to the first. So that we're missing a term here in the progression of variables. So when you're doing long division, if you're missing a power of the variable, you do have to put in a placeholder to represent that. Now, I put 0B because <laughs> there's not a B, so how many of them are there? There's none of them. 0B means no Bs, and I need that placeholder. You'll see why in a minute, okay? All right, so let's crank out this long division. The first step is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor, that'll give us the first term of the quotient. All right, so here we go. 16b to the third divided by 4b is going to be 4b squared. And do you see where I wrote that? I like to keep my like terms lined up. So we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to take this 4b squared and we're going to distribute. That's what's going to happen next. So 4b squared times 4b, that's going to give us 16b to the third. And notice these terms match. And if you set it up correctly, these terms, they should always match, okay? Next, 4b squared times 16. That's going to be plus 64 b squared. Next step, draw the line, change the sign, and then combine. 16b cubed minus 16b cubed, those will cancel. And then I need to know what is 8 minus 64. And I'm not playing around. I'm going to use my calculator just to check. 8 minus 64, negative 56, okay? negative 56, that's a B squared, and then I'm going to bring down my placeholder, 0B, and if you want to bring down the 68, you can, but it's not needed at this point. Next step, we're now going to take the negative 56 B squared and divide that by 4B to give us the next term of the quotient. All right, so what is negative 56 divided by 4? Divided by 4, that is negative 14. Uh, so we're going to need negative 14B. Did you catch that? B squared divided by B gives me a B. And then just like we did with the 4B squared, we're going to take our negative 14B and distribute. So that'll give us a negative 56. That looks terrible. All right, negative 56B squared. And then negative 14 times 16. Clear. Negative 14 times 16 is negative 224. Negative 224. And that's going to have a B. And now do you see why I needed that placeholder? This negative 20, this negative 224B needed somebody to line up with. He definitely shouldn't have lined up with the 68 because those are not like terms. So now I'm hoping you see why I needed that placeholder. All right, next step. Draw the line, change the signs, and then combine. The B squareds are going to cancel. 0 plus 224, that is a 224B, plus 68 comes down. And then we're going to rinse and repeat one more time. We need to know what is 224B 
divided by 4b. All right, pulling our calculator up again. We want to know what is 224 divided by 4? 56. All right, so let's undo. And we're going to need a plus 56. The 56 is going to need to distribute, okay? 4 times 56, 224b. I designed it that way. And then 56 times 16. Times 16. 896. Man, these numbers are big. Plus 896. Draw the line, change the sign, and then combine. What is 68 minus 896? Clear. 68 minus 896. Negative 828. And that is our rema remainder. The remainder is negative 828. The quotient is 4b squared minus 14b plus 56. Does that match any of the answer choices? Looks a lot like A. 4B squared minus 14B plus 56. And here they're showing adding the remainder over the divisor, which is uh, a proper math notation. Oh, man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.